Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the recurrent laryngeal nerve. We have two on either side. Let's start with the right. The right recurrent laryngeal nerve originates from the descending vagus nerve, which is, of course, a cranial nerve, meaning it doesn't originate from the spine, but rather from the brain itself. Anyway, the recurrent laryngeal nerve loops behind the right subclavian artery, and then it recurs or ascends to the border of the inferior thyroid artery. And this is a common injury site. If you're ever going to do a thyroidectomy, you have to ligate the inferior thyroid artery, and you could also ligate the recurrent laryngeal nerve here. And finally, it crosses medially into the thyroid by the ligament of Berry. And this is again another site of injury. It passes between the two parathyroid glands, the superior and inferior. On the left side, the left recurrent laryngeal nerve loops below the aortic arch and follows a similar pattern. These recurrent laryngeal nerves are very important for the vocal cord muscles. They innervate all the vocal cord muscles except the cricothyroid muscle which is innervated by the superior laryngeal nerve. Each vocal cord has two muscles attached to it. One is the abductor, and the second is an adductor. And these are, of course, innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Naturally, the adductor muscle has more innervation than the abductor muscle. So if the recurrent laryngeal nerve is damaged, and only damaged, not fully severed, it will have weaker signal going to the vocal cords. So both the adductor and the abductor will have weaker signals, commanding them to contract. And of course, because the adductor has more signal or more innervation, it will contract more. So in cases of bilateral recurrent laryngeal nerve damage, the vocal cords will close completely. On the other hand, if the nerve was severed or cut, the signal going both to the adductor and abductor will be lost, and so the vocal cord will remain in neutral position. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following thyroid cells secrete the calcitonin? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.